Welcome. I'm Chris, an application specialist here at Wardjet. I've got an abrasive plug. I'm going to walk you through all I clear. An abrasive plug and the mini hop weapon. Um, just grab a four millimeter Allen wrench. Okay, we had this little cap screw. Well, button head screw to the cap of the mini hopper. Um, if you disconnect the air from the mini hopper, you won't have to worry about braces coming out. If you don't, then you have to worry about it. Um, I'll then really swoop it upside down. Uh, as long as you screen, your breather is working. The pressure comes out here, so it should be gravity fed to there. If a brace is coming out when you do that, but your sander's not working, probably look into that. Um, and then we'll have to remove our, our side glass to get to our wet abrasive. Um, we make some noise here. Uh, we're just gonna clean and dry everything throughout this whole process. You need that little screw on the side. Uh, God knows safety gloss is probably a must here. Okay. Now I need four screws. But there's a little bladder inside that turns the abrasive on and off, allows it to flow. Um, currently my abrasive output is off, so the bladder is inflated. I want my output on so that the bladder doesn't pop when I remove this, this piece. Miles is behind me. Um, so you're good to go. So, take the challenge. This tree is not three millimeters. Since this little bloop inside. Sorry about the background noise. This is a bit of a good front to you. Okay, we do have an O ring here. We don't want to lose. Uh, so, a little breather stem helps breathe the, the top of the mini opera as well as the breather connected to the top. So without losing any of this stuff, I'm just gonna blow it off. Save some more dry. Uh, I'm gonna blow out this. I'm gonna move my uh, lip cam dial here all its ten. Flavorless water out. If you don't know what the bladder is, what else? This is not whole finger bladder it comes in from the back. If you stay straight, straight through by passing this hole, so it deflates, deflates, sets off the abrasive. That's why we want the output on to deflate the bladder. Um, You can further dismantle this from here. Make sure you get all the air out. Uh, I generally find this is about as far as you need to go in this process. Uh, and then just make sure you put the dial back to where it was. When you started. Now I'm just gonna put it back together. I just need to know when you clean this off, uh, checking to see if you had some debris covering these holes. Uh, kind of important. If you did, it'll be in your best interest to re-weigh your abrasive. You may have had a partial clock for a while and didn't know it. You may have weighed your abrasive with that partial clock. Generally, if you're running a 10-30 or the salt with combination, you probably want to be close to 4 on the readout. And if you're running 50 more to the fall, 14, or if it's 40 pound novel, you'll probably, you're probably going to be closer to the pot, if not a little above the pot. General. But it's not. But it's not absolute. And that's with 80 grit. That's the thing about the blues. 
120, 220, 60, 50. Oh, look at this. I'm gonna blow out my anti-backflow device by quarter inch. I'd ask the Ollie Ethylene. Alright. Uh oh. Legs up, they're getting caught. Without getting abrasive in the uh, threads. That back there. I've got a nice, clean, thin flow, so I'll turn off my abrasive output. But really, you must see be pretty good. So that is how you move it out through a mini hopper. Uh, your mini mini hopper. The screw does not need to be very tight. Uh, just enough to keep the cap on. Maybe a little snug to help keep water from getting in there, but you shouldn't have a whole lot of water there. Uh, you'll splash this on the nozzle. Hope that helps. Okay.